Helene Becker is joining us now of Cowan as we look ahead to FedEx and those results in overtime. It's nice to see you. Was reading some research today and just some general reports about this company. Stocks up 20 percent since December. I'm reading an analyst here who said we do not believe the optimism is yet justified. What about you? Yeah, we're, we have an outperform rating on FedEx, and our view is that you have a pretty new management team, a relatively new CEO and CFO, and they're really focused on getting costs down. One of the biggest announcements they had earlier this year was that they were going to um, have layoffs of about 10 percent of the corporate workforce. Uh, it's senior managers, and they've never done that. They usually offer early retirement programs or things like that, but this was the first time they actually went down the layoff path, and I think they're serious about wanting to cut costs, and I think that's part of it. So um, even though we expect volumes to be down, and you probably know this better than I do, but most of the time after they report earnings, the stock goes down the next day. So. I'm not that hopeful about tomorrow, but as I think about FedEx over the next six months to a year, I'm pretty optimistic. Do I see this correctly, though, that your price target on the stock is 185 and, you know, it's at 205 now. So is that is that right? Yeah, no, our, I think our price target's closer to 220. Oh, your price target's closer to 220. Maybe that's the new one. I'm, I'm looking perhaps that... Uh, at a bit of an old uh, old research report, are the uh, and my my apologies for that. Uh, the cost cutting plan, the, the, the cost cutting plan, is it enough? Well, I don't know the answer to that question specifically. I'm going to say yes, but I think when you when I think about these companies, whether it's in my airline universe or FedEx or UPS, um, I think that they have to be vigilant all the time because. Costs can kind of get out of control, especially during the peak shipping season when um, they have to hire lots and lots of workers. And then in January, a lot of those workers leave because they're just seasonal. So they really have to be vigilant so that headcount doesn't get out of control coming out of the peak. Um, and then they have to prepare for um, the next peak, which they do most of the year. So kind of a long way of saying we think they can do it. But um, they have to prove that they can do it. And are all bets off if there is a recession? Well, yes. <laughs> I mean, I, I, you make me sad, but yes, I think if there is a recession um, that's consumer led, that causes people to retrench and rethink how they're spending their money and they, they turn to more savings rather than spending, then yes, I would expect the shares to sell off again. All right, Elaine, thank you. We'll see what they deliver.